six men sentenced to death for blasphemy lynching that shocked the world. On April 18th, Pakistan's anti-terrorism court sentenced six men to death, while nine were handed life imprisonment sentences for the brutal mob lynching of Priyantha Kumara, a Sri Lankan working as a factory manager in Silakot, Pakistan. The court also gave a five-year imprisonment sentence to one individual, while 72 individuals were given a two-year jail sentence. Kumara was killed on December 3rd, 2021, over blasphemy allegations. Kumara, during preparations of the factory for a site visit, asked factory workers to remove any stickers on the machinery. Workers accused him of, quote, desecrating posters bearing the name of Islam's prophet Muhammad, which led to the mob lynching in which hundreds of men participated. The recording of the incident appalled the international community and drew harsh condemnation. Sri Lanka's foreign ministry spokesperson, uh, Suji Sarwa Gunaratne, demanded that Pakistan take, quote, the required action to investigate and ensure justice. Abdul Raf Watu, the lead prosecutor, said, quote, we are satisfied with the outcome. So yeah, I'm not was, satisfied with this outcome. Yeah, this is a very important story to cover, not only because the murder of Priyanka Kumara is a very, very, very important blasphemy lynching that happened within the past year, um, and for for a number of reasons, um, but it's a particularly important one. And so I thought it was important and essential that we kind of follow up on this story. So this is a major development and um, a major thing that we have to follow up on. Now, this also brings many issues with it. One, here at Atheist Republic, we don't support the death penalty. Um, and two, it's not as simple as just saying, oh, okay, we're going to, you know, put these six men to death, seven get in jail for two years, you know, one guy gets five years, et cetera, et cetera. Or um, some some people are given life imprisonment, right? Because um, here's the problem. This brings up the Shahid problem. And Armin, could you please expand on this Shahid problem? Yeah. First of all, some people are pointing out in the live chat that they don't think these executions are going to happen. They're going to be on death row and then eventually then I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not, but we're well, they against... won't be able to appeal their sentencing. Right. So some, okay, we'll, we'll read the comments in the live chat later. Right. But yeah, this is okay. So we have studies that shows that the death penalty just doesn't work even in normal countries, right? Where they don't have this shaheep or martyrdom concept, right? So even when in p places where people don't think like it's good to die for religion, even in those countries, the death penalty doesn't seem to disincentivize people from committing the crimes any more than life sentences do, right? So based on that alone, everybody should be against the death penalty. Now take that, to a place where people might even feel honored that, or, you know, that they're gonna die from the religion. So I think the results would be even more in favor. Again, I'm just speculating. Either it would, we have no reason to believe that it would be less um, this, you know, like it would be actually more disintensivizing, you know, like um, changing people's behavior compared to other countries. If anything, uh, we would think it has even lesser of an effect because the concept of martyrdom or or die or shahadat uh, in Islam for, in, uh, for the sake of honoring your prophet or whatever, or for the sake of Islam, right? So, yeah, I mean, and, and, and at the end of the day, we also don't like the, any government having the authority uh, to take human life unless it's in self-defense. You know what I mean? Like if it's in war, and in, it's in, you know, in protecting an invader or an aggressor or something like that. But just, it's just like, it's barbaric for a government to have that authority to just be like, decide somebody 
who's not doesn't have a gun in his hand at the moment to, to just die you know like it's it's just so like uncivilized i think and we, it doesn't have any utility so why are we still doing that so uh, yeah i'm definitely against it but what do you what do you think I agree with you on the on the um, back of that. Seth has an interesting comment. Seth is saying also government authority and legitimacy comes from the people. The government does not logically have the moral authority to kill people from whose consent that authority derives. I don't. I don't. I don't buy that argument because if you want to use that argument, they can't jail anybody either. Either like, I mean, it's about the majority of people's. Okay, so for example, I would be for the death penalty, okay, if you could show that the benefits outweigh the cost, right? So I don't argue based on principles. I argue based on consequences, right? But it doesn't. Um, the costs outweigh the benefits by a huge margin. Um, if Even if you're, you know, if you're taking some people's freedoms away or executing them, if it's in the best interest of the majority of the other people, as the representative of the people, you will still do it because you are representing most of the people. So you might have to sacrifice the well-being of a few of the people for the sake of all the other people. Okay, but if if it did, if if it had that utility, but it doesn't have that utility, so there's no reason for letting any government do that. So I don't buy. Yeah, you can't just be like, oh, these are the people. Well, then you, you can't put them to jail to jail either. But the anyways, yeah. Um, let's look at some live chat comments. Um, Further, Forever Stormy is saying, Islamists will now come on the street and hail these murderers as heroes and pressure the state into saving them. Yeah, so this is exactly part of the Shaheed problem we were talking about. Um, Bengali Hindu is saying, this is just for show. Lynching and killing is still continuing. They won't be hanged if there is no international outrage. Um, I mean, there definitely was a high degree of international outrage over um, the killing of Kumara. I just don't know how much the international community specifically wants the death penalty. Um, yeah. And... Um, Gaijin American is suggesting therapy over imprisonment. Um, for I some mean, people, I don't in, think for yeah, I don't think for everybody. I think for some people, um, I'm, I think for certain people, life in prison is the right answer. I'm not sure actually. Definitely, actually, you know what? Definitely. You know what? I'm just going to appeal to the experts. If you know, I don't know. I'm just going to claim ignorance over this. I just know I'm against the death penalty. Um, but whether therapy or imprisonment works better based on who, like is it across the board or is if it depends on the individual or if it depends on the crime, I haven't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just be like, I do not know. Mm. I guess I haven't done the research on that. Yeah, I just in, the, in this instance, we would need a way more severe intervention than just therapy. I mean, yeah, imagine like if, if you could fix what these people did with therapy, then like, can you just apply it? Can you just let us know so we could de radicalize the entire planet? Like, I don't know <laughs> what, like, what method, like, what kind of therapy, like somebody who lynched somebody for blasphemy, what oh, sort no, of like the mere are... allegation of taking a sticker off of a wall? Yeah. Like if you if they if the humans have managed to come up with a, ther a therapy that fixes that way of thinking, then why haven't we fixed the planet yet? Like that that seems like a super weapon. Like that's like like sounds like a superpower that we could just like apply it to everyone already. Like what the like I don't think we have that capability. But, yeah. All right. It it it's 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 a tough situation. Um, okay, PK is actually happy about what we're doing. PK is saying, as bad as things are in Pakistan, at least there's some action by the government. This oh, is damn. low bar. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, the, the government is doing something. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, first of all, the, the thing is not a good thing, but 
if the standard is like, oh my God, I can't believe Pakistan is doing something. Imagine how bad situations are if that's the standard. And these are saying, I, I'm against the death penalty, but does Pakistan actually carry, carry out any of them? I mean, Pakistan does carry out death penalties. The ones that I think they haven't ever carried out are the, are the blasphemy laws. Correct. Those are, the, those are the ones that they never carry out. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.